Hi guys, welcome back to another Premiere Pro CC 2015 tutorial. And now in today's tutorial, we will be making something along the lines of this. So first off, we have the text revealing that says pigs in space. Epic, I know. Um, that only the footage is being revealed on the text. Then we will have a transition, which is kind of cool, made from a set mat into some flower footage. And then it will go on to a couple more transitions into other pieces of footage that I bring in. Central Park, a duck, and some more flowers. Awesome. And to note, I am currently working on a MacBook Pro with a 2.6 gigahertz Intel Core i5 processor with 16 gigs of RAM. And that's about it. So this is just a plain old laptop. Not the best and not the worst. All right, first off, we already have our sequence in Premiere created. So we are going to delete this and delete all of this. All right, first off, to get started, we need to import our footage, which I already have it right here. And we will import every bit of it. We have our flying through space footage that was shown on the text. We have the duck, we have the flower, the other flower, Central Park, and the Brooklyn Bridge footage. Awesome. Okay, now we need a new sequence. So, new sequence. DSLR 1080p at 30 frames a second will work fine. We will use, we'll call this uh, set mat. Tut. Awesome. Now, first off, we need the text that will be on screen that said pigs in space. Okay, so new item, title, um, pigs in space. How many times can I say that in that voice? I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so the dialog box will pop open and we will drag a text box and we will type pigs in space. Ooh, there is no pixeled font for the exclamation mark. Awesome. So we will increase this text size and I will put a link in the, the description where to find this font if you are interested. Cool, pigs in space, that works. So we've created our text, pigs in space. First, we need to drag it into our timeline for our beginning, so Let's put it on layer two, this V2. We can drag this out some to make it longer. It's actually pretty long, so it's nine seconds to 32 seconds, so it's about 20 some odd seconds long. Cool. We will move it on the screen to center it. So in our effect controls, we can drop down the motion tag and move it over to the right some, and then move it down a little bit. That looks almost centered. I always just use my eye. It sort of works. Cool. So now we want this to only show as the space footage. So what we'll do is we will grab our space footage and we will drop it under pigs in space. So we need this to show on this. Cool. So in our effects panel, if you hadn't seen it before, if it's not showing up up here, if the panel is closed, you can go to Window, Effects, here's our Effects panel, and we will type Track Mat. So the Track Mat key, awesome. And we will drag it onto Space Fly Through, or whatever footage you are using. Cool. Now with Space Fly Through clicked, we will click our Effect Controls and set the mat to video two. So drop down on none, click video two. Now pigs in space is being shown on the footage. That's awesome. That's exactly what we want, but we need a little more than just this. We will drag these up by a layer to reveal layer one. Now pigs in space is back to white. Easy fix. Click your space fly through. The mat needs to be set to channel three, which will put it on pigs in space. So Space fly through, mat, channel three. It is there, cool, but now we need a white background. Really easy. 
we will right click in our project bin, new item, color mat. Set it to the settings of your uh, sequence, okay. Now we can choose any color we'd like. Let's go with, you know, we went with light white last time. Let's go with uh, some kind of weird green. Weird green works. Color mat. Weird green. Okay. Now drag the weird green under your timeline. Now all of your footage will have this weird green under it if you're under that sort of thing. But we can make this even cooler. How long did this footage drag out? Cool. It's that. It's pretty awesome so far. We really like it. We can make it even cooler. We will go to our effects again. Exit out. And we will type drop shadow. Cool. Perspective. Drop shadow. And we will drag it on top of pigs in space. Now we put a drop shadow on our letters. So click pigs in space. Go to your effect controls. Here's our drop shadow. Cool. We will make the distance a little more. Bring the opacity up, which will make it darker. And change our softness a little bit. Now it looks like it's floating off the screen a little bit. Cool. One last thing. We need it to fade on. So, on space fly through, we can right click on the edge of the clip and apply default transition. Cool. Now zoom in. Click this transition and if we stretch it out some, it will ease its way onto the timeline. So, hit play. And as we can see, it's going to appear soon. It's going, going. Here is our awesome footage on pigs in space with a green background. I'm really liking what I see. This is amazing. Now, in our old video, the background faded away and revealed footage. So, let's drag this background back and actually move all these layers up one more time. We got to go back to space fly through one, change the mat to video four to get our mat back. So now we're going to get some different footage. Let's grab the central park footage, put it under here. We don't need our audio and we can right click on the weird green clip apply default transition, zoom in a little bit, and drag this back, the transition. So it will, f the weird green will fade off on top of our footage to reveal Central Park because that's where the pigs in space would land, right there. Awesome, and to add something new, we will move this back some because we want it to end right about there right click on space fly through apply default transition and move it back cool it fades away and that now we need this footage to fancily transition into let's use the yellow flowers we want it to change into something else right there or you know what right here will be good. We don't need the audio deleted. Okay, so we need some crazy looking transitions. Now, I have some of my own that I purchased. We will import them. I will put a link in the description of the transitions. It's not expensive, but is key to many of my projects. So we will open up the 40 transitions and it will open up this cool dialog box and you can drag it and dock it somewhere. And as you can see, there are tons of transitions and they are alpha mat transitions so we will sort the icons by name so we can transition one transition two and this is the sort icon if you have footage you can change the type of name media type media start you know so on and so forth so if we scrub through these transitions you can go already see what's going on grab this this is a cool transition 
Now, if you want to really preview one of these, you can double click it and it will bring up a source window and you can see the transition. Let's find one we really like. This kind of works. See this? Let's check this out. Drag it back, drag it forward. That's neat. We will use this. So go back to our program to see our edit. Now, all we need to do is drag the flowers up one layer. We are going to put the transition under this layer to reveal the flower footage via this transition. So we will grab this transition. You can just click it and drag it in and put it right at the beginning of the flower footage. So if we hide this layer, we can see this transition take place right there. Cool. So let's zoom in a little bit to get a better look at what we're doing. There is our transition and we want it to be applied to the flower footage. So let's turn our flower footage back on. Now, in your effects, you will type set mat. Awesome. Grab the set mat, drag it and put it on flowers. Now click flowers, click your effect controls and drop the take mat from layer video five where our transition is so video five right now it's set to alpha channel which is completely fine because the transition is white and black so as we scrub forward we can see its transition to the flowers very simple just like that now Next up, we will transition to the Brooklyn Bridge. That sounds awesome. Now, like before, we grab the Brooklyn Bridge, we move it up a layer, and we go to our 40 plus transitions. Let's just grab a random one, transition 28, 27, this looks, that's uh, just a TV one. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Let's use this. And each one of these transitions is only five seconds long. So if we turn our Brooklyn Bridge footage off, we can already see it changing. Now, we will go back to our effects, drag our set mat to the Brooklyn Bridge Go to Effect Controls and take Matt from Layer 7. Now if we scrub forward, there you go. That is our footage. So I could continue, but it would only be repetitive to create something like this, which each transition is there with our track mat of pigs in space. All right, guys, now that we have this created, we are going to export our video. So we are going to clean this up a little bit. First off, we need to cut the beginning off of the weird green with C for the cut tool and then V back to our selector. We can delete this beginning. We can highlight all of our footage and drag it back and then we can cut the beginning off of flowers because it no longer shows under the Brooklyn Bridge and we can go forward a little bit just a hair drag the Brooklyn Bridge back to here and this can be taken back all the way to this transition so pigs in space we got all this going Awesome, we are ready to export. So file, export media. It's only 35 seconds long. We will format H.264, set mat tut, um, target bit rate 10 and 12, use maximum render quality. We don't need it today, we'll turn it off. We will choose our output from output name. We will choose it at the desktop, hit save. Export video, export audio. We don't have audio, so we will turn it off. And then we can click export. Hey 
and our video is exported. So let's go ahead and check it out. If I open it up here and see what we've made. So starts off with pigs in space. Epic music cued, you know, the whole thing going on and on. It actually doesn't look half bad. If you run a gaming channel, this looks kind of cool. Except for the uh, Central Park footage. I don't know if it worked too well, but hey. I like where this is going. Then it will transition to our flower footage. And then our Brooklyn Bridge footage. So that is it. That is set mats and track mats in a nutshell. In under, I'm thinking, 20 minutes. So thank you. Um, please like and subscribe for more tutorials and updates. Thanks, guys.